So what is going on in the network marketing home-based business space? Is it dead? Is it just getting started? Just in 2024 alone, several network marketing companies have severed their network marketing arm. They've gone to the one-tier affiliate plan. Some companies have leveled out. Some are moving backwards. Still, they are launching some new network marketing companies. So what's going on? What is the state of the union in network marketing? Some top leaders will say this is all fear-mongering. Other people are saying that this is just the handwriting on the wall. Let's get into it in today's training. So there is one company that we're going to be speaking about and this company and I have to say it I have to say that this company is doing what no other company is doing so if you're a network marketing pro if you've been involved in the network marketing industry you may enjoy this training this is going to be a data driven training I'm not into the hype I'm sorry I'm just not into it we got the greatest product ever you're not going to hear that from me I'm just going to get into flat out data I want to say welcome to this training and if you want more information about this program or if you want more data driven videos click the link below. Patrick Bet David does a great video about the subscription economy. Watch that video, drop your email so you can determine if this is a good fit for you, if this makes sense. So let's get started. I'll be sharing some data from businessforhome.org. If you go into momentum ranks, you see here that LiveGood is ranked number one in momentum in this list alone out of 690 different companies. You'll see an article that in January 11, 2024, LiveGood celebrates 1 million members, and they did that in 13 months. So LiveGood has acquired over a million paid members faster than Amazon, faster than Costco. Why has this happened? Now we can come up with all the hypey messaging. They have the greatest products with the greatest opportunity, the greatest leaders and the greatest CEO and all the greatest stuff. But I want to get into data. Like what's the deal with this company and why is it doing what no other company is doing? Why has it done what no other company has ever done before? And why is it consistently growing every single day at a rate that has never been seen before in network marketing? So again, all the data I'm sharing with you about network marketing companies comes from businessforhome.org. We're not picking on any companies. We're simply sharing data. You see here, this is just a few very popular network marketing companies. Some companies that are very popular, some have been around for 30 years, some are household brand names. Now you see a lot of the revenues are down at an alarming rate. You see Modare down 45% in two years. It works global down 28% in three years. Plexus Worldwide down 26% in three years. Prove It down 44% in two years. Juice Plus, a company that's been around for decades, down 43% in three years. Sensi down 43% in two years. Now we see other companies that have been around for decades down significant in revenue. Doterra down $330 million in three years. Melaleuca down $400 million in three years. Usana down $270 million in two years. Isagenix down $460 million in five years, almost a half a billion dollars. You see here Beachbody down $473 million, almost a half a billion dollars in five years. As a matter of fact, Beachbody has recently gone out of business as well. Again, we're not picking on any companies. We're simply just sharing data. All the time that this is happening, you see LiveGood in the lower left-hand corner that is up 1,600%. And at the time of this video, there are over 1.6 million paid members in under two years. So I just got off the Friday call. I was listening in. And here are just some of the numbers. There was 3,806 rank advancements this week alone. Now, if you listen to their weekly call for, with LiveGood, Every single week, the numbers are the same. The numbers have not changed. As a matter of fact, they're increasing. So 3,806 rank advancements, 3,241 people hit the rank of bronze, which means they broke even and made their money back. 470 people hit the rank of silver. We're going to be speaking heavily about residual income, passive income in this training. 75 people hit the rank of gold. That's just about 11 people a day hitting the rank of gold, which means you have a team of at least 100 members. 17 new platinums, three new diamonds. Again, 3,806 rank advancements this week alone. They've been averaging about 2,000 new members every single day. Again, the question is, why is this happening? We see the revenues of these companies are obviously way down and live good is way up. Why? Well, all of these companies are following the same business model as they've been following for the last 100 years. They're all product-based, business volume. They have BV, PV, OV. They all have auto ship. The compensation is based on product sales. They're also considered a pay-to-play model 
meaning you've got to buy the products. You've got to be on ownership in order to even participate in the business where LiveGood does none of these things. So as we'll see in this training, it's not that LiveGood is adding new things. They're actually removing things that don't work. So again, as I go through this training, I'm not knocking network marketing. I'm just pointing out fundamental flaws in the business model. And none of this is a secret. People see what's happening in the industry, as well as people know how challenging it is to speak to people about network marketing, because so many people have these preconceived notions about MLM and network marketing. Are the people right? Some people have a point. Some people are just crazy. You won't call it a pyramid no matter what. But this is 2025, 2026 moving forward. People are thinking different. The consumer is behaving different, obviously. The price of everything has been skyrocketing. People are looking for value. People are also looking to start a home-based business because of the economy and everything that's going on in the world. So again, if that's you or if you're a leader, if you've been around network marketing and you're looking for something where you don't have to bounce around to another company over and over and over again, believe me, I know what it's like. I've actually been a diamond in three different network marketing companies and earned multiple six figures and yet another network marketing company. I'm not saying that because I want a blue ribbon and say, oh, go me. I'm saying that because no one likes starting over. We've all come here for the same thing. We really want to make walk-off, ongoing, passive, sticky, residual income for our families. So let's start by sharing some very fundamental differences between network marketing and live good. Generally, in network marketing, there's a starter pack. Starter packs can vary anywhere between $299 to $499, maybe $1,000. Let's call the starter pack $500. Yes, it's optional, but it's always highly encouraged. Live good simply has no starter pack. There's a one-time $40 affiliate fee, and that gives you done-for-you funnels, landing pages, email autoresponders, and email sequences. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to build a funnel or build a website, put together an autoresponder, put together an email campaign, but it's not easy. It's very costly and very confusing. The fact that LiveGood offers this for only $40 one time for life is an excellent feature, particularly for people that want to generate leads online and have automation with follow-up. You need to have a system like this. Most network marketing companies just have a replicated website. So with traditional network marketing, there's always an auto ship. They have different names for it. They call it smart ship, auto delivery. But either way, it's an auto ship. It comes automatically out of your debit, automatically out of your credit card. It's an auto ship, usually to the tune of $150 per month. Where LiveGood is just a membership, just like Costco, Sam's Club, Spotify, Amazon, it's a subscription. That membership is $9.95 per month. Now, what a lot of people choose to do, they pay for the year and get two months for free. So it's $99 for the year, two months for free. So for the first year, it costs you $139.95. So right away, when you look at cost, it costs about $2,000 your first year in network marketing, where live good your first year to stay in business is $139. So when you're prospecting someone, it makes it a lot easier, obviously, if your offer is a much lower barrier of entry. So in network marketing compared to live good, it was $2,300 for the calendar year to start your network marketing business compared to $140. Then Network marketing is $1,800 per year via auto ship and just in 95 cents each year thereafter with LiveGood. So when you look at the difference with business overhead and costs, network marketing is going to run you about $10,000 over the course of five years, where LiveGood is just going to run you over $500 for five years. You show someone a business and it's $2,000 for the year, $150 per month compared to $140 for the year. Take a wild guess, which is more appealing to 99% of society. All of these companies in network Network marketing are operating on the same old business model. Everyone knows it's getting increasingly difficult to participate in that space. Then when you compare it to the subscription model, Costco, Planet Fitness, Netflix, Spotify, Uber One now has a subscription, Amazon Prime, Wink, HelloFresh. There are thousands of subscriptions. The subscription economy is skyrocketing right now. So where does LiveGood actually fit right in the middle of these two? Now, before I get into the nuts and bolts of this training, let's just think about this. Why do people even get started in network marketing? Like, why do people start any business? They want to be profitable. They want to provide for their family, right? I mean, that's why I got started. When I got started in network marketing, I have four sons now, but at the time we had three sons in diapers. I had three that were under three. I had way more bills coming in every single month than I had money coming in. And I had a good job. My wife had a full-time job. We recruited the grandparents to watch the kids. I mean, we were very happy. I just needed more money. And this was, this was 20 years ago right? 17 years ago when I got started in network marketing, right? I got started because 
We just flat out needed more money coming into the household. I saw the concept of residual income, passive income. I says, wow, if I can build a passive income that'll cover my monthly obligations, my monthly nut, my expenses, then I'd be able to keep the money that I make from my job and I, my wife wouldn't have to work anymore. So that's really why we got started years ago. And yes, we've had a few good runs. But again, like I said, no one wants to bounce from company to company. We want to have a side gig. We don't want to have a side gig, then another side gig, and be all emotionally attached to these businesses that go in and out of business. So if you've been around the network marketing industry, or if you haven't, listen, if you haven't, this is really all good news for you, by the way. But if you have, there's no secret to what I'm saying. You've already experienced this. So what I want to show you before the nuts and bolts, I want to show you a scenario that's probably going to hit home. It's probably something that's been very familiar to you. So let's take a look at this family. They seem happy. They probably are very happy. But there's one thing that they have that 99% of other people have. Bills. These bills come in every single month, no matter what. And these bills cost what? Money. So in this example, let's say this family has $4,000 to $5,000 a month in monthly bills. They're called residual bills. They're residual because they come in every single month after month after month. They're residue of a decision that was made. They decided to have a house. They decided to get a car. They decided to buy food. These decisions cost money. And this is what we call residual bills. Now, sometimes families have discussions about the residual bills. They may not be smiling in this picture, but it's not always that much fun when you're looking at your bills. More so these days when the price of everything has skyrocketed. Maybe you've heard the term, you have residual bills. Why not have residual income? So a friend calls you, invites you to coffee and says, hey, I'd like to share some information with you. They say, I started a new business and it's really awesome. They tell you all about it and you say, that sounds great in. You watch some videos, you get very excited about this new business. You get started, you get on auto ship and that auto ship creates 100 points in business volume. That $150 a month for the auto ship is actually a monthly expense. It's your cost of doing business. So it's in the red as an expense until you can either break even or have positive cash flow. Now you enroll some friends and some more people. Those people enroll some other people. Now it gets exciting. It's all over Facebook. People are posting about this. Great products, great company. People are having results. There's before and after pictures. There's a big buzz. And now you have an army of people that are excited about this company, excited about the products, excited about the leadership. They're on the Zooms every night and you are rocking and rolling. So this army of people like yourself, they all have their auto ship. They pay $150 a month, creates 100 points in business volume. And in traditional network marketing, this is how you get paid. What happens is these people realize it's $150 a month expense and not everyone wants to spend $150 a month every single month. And a lot of people are spending more money monthly than they're making. So in 90 days, you experience attrition. People start dropping off of auto ship. Six months, more people leave. And in nine months, you have major attrition. After one year, there's hardly anyone left. And then it becomes just you. You realize everyone quit. A few months later, you meet up with your friend in the coffee shop. And they say, this is a new product. It's never been done before. This is brand new. There's a great story behind this. You've got to watch the doctor's call. You've got to listen to the new leaders. And you say, I'm in. Let's do it. Now you're excited again, right? I mean, this is a great great feeling when you're so excited about a new product, a new company, because you know this is going to work. There's a new buzz on Facebook about it. Everyone's talking about it. Everybody's getting in. You build an army again. Everyone's on auto ship. As we know, no one likes paying $150 a month for their auto ship. We also know people are in the red spending $150 a month, three months, six months, nine months. After one year, it's just you all over again. What happened? Everyone quit again. You're thinking to yourself, this doesn't work. When someone approaches you about a new opportunity, you're flat out not interested. The challenge is you still have residual bills. So you meet up with your friend in the coffee shop again. They say, this is a new product. This has never been done. This is better than the last two deals. This is going to be better than ever. It's only $150 a month for your auto ship. And you say, not a chance. There's no way this is not happening. The challenge is still there with the residual bills. Those have not gone away that's called residual. They keep on coming. So when you go to the coffee shop, look at these two, which friend has residual bills? The truth is they both have residual bills. They're both in agreement. I want to make more money for my family. So do I. I don't want to spend $150 a month on auto ship. Neither do I. I don't want to sell overpriced products to people. Neither do I. I want to make long-term residual income. So do I. So at some point, you've got to say, wait, why didn't those businesses work? I'm going to do a comparison between network marketing, live good, 
and the subscription model. Because what I'm about to share with you, most people don't even think to even ask these questions. These are the little things that are the big things. This is why they call it a nuts and bolts. The nuts and bolts are the things that hold things together. The little nuances, the little things is the major reason why so many network marketing companies are either going out of business, losing revenue, losing customers, and changing their compensation plans. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison and ask these questions. Difference between network marketing, live good, and the subscription model. Now, here are the questions. First, we're going to speak about leverage, starter pack, auto ship, business volume, which is BV, PV, GV, OV, points, basically. We've all heard that network marketing has overpriced products. We've definitely heard about the hype. Now, these questions are important here. Is there a purchase or sales requirement to be an active participant in the business? Is there a recruitment or sales requirement to be qualified to earn income? Is the compensation plan triggered from business volume based on product sales? Is income dependent on product sales? And here's a big one. Residual income, is it generated from auto ship of product sales? Let's start with leverage. Did your business or does your business have leverage? This is when you can enroll a few who enroll a few who enroll a few, 10 to 50 to 100, 100 tell 10, you have 1,000 that tell 10, 10,000 that tell 10, 100,000, even millions of customers, affiliates, and members in your organization that you can get paid a commission on. When you look at leverage in network marketing, you can enroll someone that enrolls someone else that enrolls someone else you have no idea who this person is, and that person can out-earn people above them. The top earner could be the newest affiliate. Network marketing is the only business model that's not a pyramid, and it seems to see the only business model that everyone calls a pyramid. As we know, the pyramid model of corporate America, you have the CEO, the VP, management, assistant management, supervisors, team leaders, entry level. Everything has the pyramid structure. What's great about network marketing and the business model is you can enroll as many affiliates as you want and everyone has the same opportunity. When each one reaches one, it grows out exponentially. As an example, you can start in the US, someone gets started in the UK, that leads to Germany. Your business can go global. So you can have a global business with no manufacturing, no packaging, no shipping, no employees, no customer service, legal, accounting, is all done for you. You have no debt, yet you can share in the profits. This is why network marketing is considered the perfect business model. This is why the real estate industry has adopted the network marketing, multi-level marketing business model. In real estate, deals are transactional. Agents have no leverage and agents have no reoccurring income. So the MLM business model itself is not the issue. Network marketing has leverage. LiveGood says, yeah. We have leverage too. The subscription model, however, doesn't have leverage. Most subscriptions are just affiliate plans. And most companies have affiliate plans now. Target's an affiliate. Best Buy has an affiliate. Obviously, Amazon is an affiliate. Most big companies and corporations have affiliate plans because it makes sense. But they just simply don't have leverage. And that's what network marketing has. Probably the most appealing thing about MLM over the years has been leverage. LiveGood has leverage as well. Let's speak about the starter pack and auto ship. In this example, network marketing marketing has a $500 one-time starter pack and $150 a month auto ship. LiveGood has a one-time affiliate fee of $40, a $9.95 membership fee, which most people just pay the whole year and pay $0 per month. Now on the left, you'll notice one of the main problems about auto ship is the industry average is 2.7 months of auto ship, meaning most people cancel their auto ship before the third order. So if you have no recurring orders, you have no recurring income. So in network marketing, you have a starter pack and auto ship. With LiveGood, there's no starter pack and there's no auto ship. This is colossal information, guys. If you look at the subscription model, places like Costco, Amazon, Shopify, there's no such thing as a starter pack and there's no auto ship. So LiveGood has taken a page from the subscription model and said, you know what? No starter pack, no auto ship. It's been the Achilles heel in network marketing, the starter pack and the auto ship. Next is business volume, BV, PV, GV, OV, points. In network marketing, when they sell a product, it converts to points. Those points add up throughout the genealogy, and people are paid a dollar amount on a percentage of those points. LiveGood simply has no business volume. So network marketing has business volume. LiveGood, no business volume. Obviously, the subscription model, there is no business volume. This is a big one, overpriced products. We hear it all the time. The network marketing products are all overpriced. Is that just an opinion? To really figure this out, we have to look at the compensation plan. Is the compensation plan triggered from business volume based on product sales? 
I'll read that again quick. Is the compensation plan triggered from business volume based on product sales? Let's take a look at this product. Let's say it costs $10 to make this product and John pays $150 for that product. That $150 translates into 100 points in business volume. John has an upline in the genealogy, a hierarchy, and those hierarchy get paid from the business volume on the sale of that product. So here it says, John pays $150 that has turned into business volume that is being used to pay multiple people. So again, John pays $150, which creates 100 points in business volume. That business volume rolls up to his upline, Sarah. Sarah also pays $150 for the product. So her business volume is now 200 points. So in traditional network marketing, as we know, it keeps going up the ladder, upline, the volume increases as more people pay for the product. And the sale of that product is what's being used to pay multiple people. So like it says here, if the sale of a product is used to pay multiple people, the price must increase. This is just obvious and basic math. Everyone knows this. This is not exclusive to network marketing either. People want to buy wholesale. They want a discount on their products. This is one of the reasons why people go to Costco so they can buy 50 gallons of ketchup at a lower cost. It's also the convenience. But in network marketing, when multiple people are being compensated for the sale of one product, the price simply must increase. And obviously, since 2020, people have been becoming more savvy as a shop. People are focused on value and people simply do not want to and will not overpay for products. So are network marketing products overpriced? The answer is yes. Is the compensation plan triggered from business volume based on product sales? The answer is yes. LiveGood has a very different arrangement. You can see this is just an example of a product from LiveGood called Super Reds. When compared to mainstream products, LiveGood products are significantly cheaper. Why? because it's a wholesale membership. So everyone pays the same membership price for the product. They're buying it directly from the company, directly from the warehouse. And with LiveGood, the sale of a product is not, is not used to pay multiple people. The price is wholesale. So they're not overpriced products. The compensation plan is not triggered from business volume based on product sales. Obviously, the subscription model is the same. So what about hype? This is a big one. We see it all the time. I've seen it for years. When you look at network marketing, a starter pack for $500, $150 a month auto ship, and you look at LiveGood, which is $139 for the first year and $0 per month, no one's ever complaining about the price. It's never been brought up. But in network marketing, you've heard this if you've been involved. Why is it so expensive? Whenever you ask that question, this is the response we get. Yeah, but it's the greatest product ever. You can't get the products anywhere else. We have patent protection. It's the berry from the Amazon. It's a secret ingredient. It's a secret gel. It's the best CBD oil ever. The greatest leaders ever. You can lose weight while you sleep. It's all so amazing. You know, people cringe at that. People really don't care about what some doctor says about the products. They're not paying an auto ship. Is there hype in network marketing? Definitely. We see it all the time. Live good. Is there hype? I mean, look, there may be marketers that hype it up. I may sound kind of excited when I'm delivering the message. But the reality is there's no reason to hype anything up. It's quality products at a discount. It's a membership. We all know what memberships are. We don't hear anyone hyping up Costco. So there's no hype with LiveGood. Is there a purchase or sales requirement to be active to participate in the business? This is enormous, guys. See here in traditional network marketing, you've either got to be on auto ship for $150 a month. And I get it. Some auto ships are $100 a month, $89 a month. I get that but you've got to be on order ship or make a sale slash recruit a certain amount per month. Where in LiveGood, you have a membership, but there's no orders required. So in network marketing, yes, there's a purchase or sales requirement to be active to participate in the business. Where LiveGood, there are no requirements. Back to the example with Costco or Netflix or Amazon Prime, Costco doesn't say, hey, look, you haven't shopped here. We haven't seen you here in two months. You can't come back. They don't say that. Netflix doesn't have a requirement of one movie per month. We simply have subscriptions, sometimes for pricing, a lot of times for convenience. LiveGood is the same way. You have a membership, you buy a product when you want to buy it. You don't have to ever buy it. As a matter of fact, I took off from the LiveGood business for about five months 
I didn't buy any products. Should I have? Yes. Should we all eat an apple every single day? Yes. Do we? I know I don't. There's a lot of things I should do, but I don't. And on a side note, that's a major problem with auto ship. If something is shipped every single month and you don't use it, no matter what the cost, how big or small it is, you're going to cancel it because it's building up in the house. You already have enough of it. So people don't always cancel their auto ship simply for the cost. They cancel it because they have enough of the product. And we all know in network marketing, when people come off of ownership, they never get back on ownership. They just never do. You know it. I know it. And again, this is an opinion. This is all data driven. Look at the data in businessforhome.org. Look at the data all over the internet. Companies are dropping like flies. It's happening. And the reason these companies are dropping like flies is because their customers are dropping like flies. And if you remove the hype and the emotions like this is the greatest company ever, people realize that, hey, wait a second, I'm just looking for residual income, sticky passive income, because I have these residual bills coming every single month. Maybe I shouldn't get caught up in the hype. Now, I say this because I know it all too well. I've been caught up in the hype. I've been the hype. I get it. And know what else I get? When I saw LiveGood and I was approached about it, I didn't want to hear it either. I looked at it, I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to even hear it. A lot of leaders are saying the same thing. They've even looked at LiveGood several times before it really clicked. So make sure you're paying attention to this information. Only if you'd like a place where you don't ever have to start another company again. You don't ever have to start another deal again. And you could bring customers and affiliates and friends to a place where they can't get hurt and they can actually win. So let's get back into the training. Is there a recruitment or sales requirement to be qualified to earn income? Now, this, again, is colossal information. If you're into compensation plan, if you're into making money from a network marketing business or any business, this is important to see. In network marketing, generally, you have to have two personals that are both active for you to be qualified for compensation plan. In other words, you have to have two people that are either paying $150 a month in order ship or, like we said before, or recruiting someone new every single month. Where in LiveGood, you just qualify. You paid your $40 one-time affiliate fee, one time for life, and you qualified for life to make compensation without having to recruit anyone. Remember this for match pay. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is a very unique situation. So network marketing, yes, there is recruitment and sales requirement to be qualified to earn income. Where LiveGood, there is not. And obviously a subscription model, it doesn't even apply. All right, guys, look at this one. Is your income dependent on product sales and is residual income generated from ownership of product sales? So again, in network marketing, when they sell this product, it creates business volume and people get paid. If no one is buying or selling the products, no one is getting paid. That's pretty obvious. However, with LiveGood, if no one is buying the products, it doesn't matter because people get compensated. The compensation plan is based on the membership, not product sales. So yes, for network marketing, no for LiveGood and the subscription model. But wait, I really have got to illustrate something. There's a saying in network marketing that goes, if you understood residual income, you would walk through a brick wall to get it. This is why at the bottom you see here in the lower left, it says residual income. Is it generated? from auto ship of product sales. Let's get back to the family and why you got started in this business. You have these expenses that come in every single month. They're called residual bills. Sometimes you may have a discussion with your spouse about residual bills. There is that expression, that saying, and it is in fact a good question. You have residual bills, why not have residual income? Now, just to reiterate the network marketing model, traditionally what has happened you have a monthly expense in network marketing of $150 a month that creates 100 points in business volume. When you build an organization and everyone spends $150 a month that creates 100 points in business volume, everyone has $150 a month expense from that network marketing business. This is why after three months, six months, nine months, after one year of business in network marketing, traditionally, now more so than ever in 2025 moving forward, you end up without a business. Again, I'm not picking on any network marketing companies. I'm simply sharing data that is out there as public information. When you see these companies are all losing revenue, going out of business, and in the lower left-hand corner, there's one company that's an anomaly. You've got to ask the question, why is this actually happening? And again, it's just a different business model. They removed things that simply do not work. Network marketing, the industry average 2.7 months on auto ship, no reordering, no residual income. Doesn't matter if it's the greatest juice, berry, mushroom, gel, cream, oil, ointment, peptide, collagen, trading bot, the best deal ever. People don't care.
Families want value. Traditional network marketing, they have this monthly expense coming in every single month of $150. Where in Live Good, you have a $9.95 per month membership. Most people cancel their ownership. When people cancel their ownership, there's simply no residual income. Again, is your residual income based on ownership and reordering in traditional network marketing. In Live Good, people usually pay for the year and they pay $0 per month. Residual income is paid out every single month as if they're paying the $9.95. Retention equals residual income. Again, are you looking for your last company that you have to participate in to create residual income as far as network marketing goes? If you've never participated in a home-based business before, congratulations. We just saved you a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of money, and a lot of stress. So again, just think of how many people you'll retain when they're not paying an auto ship every single month. It's data-driven, the numbers are the numbers. So on the left, let's look at an example from a network marketing perspective. This is you, you get signed up on the need someone. We're going to use a binary as an example. This is spillover in a binary. You can have thousands of people on one leg. And if you don't have anyone on your other leg, or if you don't recruit, you will make $0. You've got to then recruit your way out of an auto ship in a traditional network marketing business. In Live Good, it's very different. So this is you. And this is some spillover. Let's just say you haven't gotten started and people are landing under you in your matrix. Because of the matrix compensation plan and the live good business model, you, without recruiting anyone, without being on ownership, can make up to $2,047 for never recruiting anyone. Now, you did hear that correctly. You could make up to $2,047.50 without ever recruiting a single person. It's a fact. I enrolled my son first thing. He makes about $100 per month. Every single month, he has never recruited one person. That's the business model. I know it sounds crazy. When it comes to network marketing, yes, Live Good is the only business model that I've ever seen that you can, in fact, get paid for having a position. As a matter of fact, I have many people in my organization that get paid every single month. I've actually had to reach out to people to tell them that they have money in their back office. They log in and they look, they say, oh, wow, that's great. When you have people that you bring into an organization that are getting paid and they haven't done anything, yes, they're not leaving because they have no ownership, but they're really not leaving if they are making money without doing anything. So this, is, again, is very important information, things to really look at as to what are you looking to create from a residual income, passive income type of business for yourself. So many of us, I'm guilty of it too, get caught up in the hype or the excitement or the emotions of some company, a certain new product, some pre-launch. Data doesn't care. The market doesn't care. The market will either discipline you or reward you. The market does not want overpriced products. The market doesn't want to be on ownership. Subscription economy is skyrocketing. You can just Google it. Just look it up. You know it. I know it. And I don't really like to use the term innovation because I think it's overused. People always say this is an innovation causing a major disruption. But the fact is, this is an innovation that is causing a disruption. It just is what it is. Again, 1 million customers faster than Amazon. I've been showing you some of the data. 2,000 people a day are getting started globally in this space with this company. So this is, in my opinion, I could do nothing about this or I could participate in it and create another pension for my family. You decide. So again, yes, you can make up to $2,047.50 without ever recruiting a single person. Like I showed earlier in this chart, recruitment sales requirement to be qualified to earn income in the live good column, it's no. There is no recruitment or sales requirement to be qualified to earn income. Remember before we said, remember this for match pay, how important this actually is when it comes to compensation. When you look at match pay, on the top of the $2,047.50 or up to $16,000 that you can earn in your personal matrix, you will also earn a match of 50% of the matrix commissions on everyone you personally enroll. And a percentage of everyone those people enroll up to five generations deep regardless of where they fall in your matrix. As an example, if you enroll 100 personals, if they earn $2,000 a month over time, and you multiply that times 50%, that's $100,000 per month just from your personals, just from the match pay, and just from your first generation. It goes way beyond 50%, and you're matching literally tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands, as a matter of fact, even millions of people 
because again, at the time of this video, companies over 1.6 million members in under two years. And when you see the numbers of traditional subscriptions, it's not uncommon to pass 10 million, 20 million, 30 million, 40 million members. When you look at these other subscriptions, LiveGood is the only one that actually pays. So let me share with you how the unit level, the unit level is everyone you personally bring in and everyone that they personally bring in, how that ties into the matrix, because each individual has their own matrix and your own unit level. What's great about this is the team building aspect and how it blends people's unit levels together. So here's an example. You bring in two personals on the left into a unit level, and this is how they land inside of the matrix. They go left to right. You bring in another four, it fills up level two. You bring in eight more, fills up level eight, and so on and so forth. It just grows exponentially because obviously everyone has their own matrix. They bring in their own friends who bring in their own friends and so on and so forth, like we covered in leverage. The matrix pays out as people grow. You could see here two, four, eight, 16, 32, exponentially all the way down to 65,536 people throughout 15 levels called a two by 15 matrix. And as we've shown earlier, someone who's unranked, who's never enrolled anyone, who's just there in the genealogy, paid their $40 one time for life, can earn up to $2,047.50 every single month after month after month. Could it illustrate how this affects the match pay? We're also only going to cover the first generation. As you can see, it's 50%, the first generation, everyone that you personally enroll, but that actually goes up to 73% for every personally enrolled affiliate. It then goes down other generations, second generation, third generation, fourth and fifth generation. This is why earlier I read from the compensation plan, you can get paid a match pay on tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and even millions of members. Here's an example. You bring in Bob and Sue. They're your personal enrollments. On the left, they're in your unit level. On the right, they land into your matrix. The first thing is just by enrolling two personals, you are now a bronze affiliate and you've now doubled your income potential inside of the matrix. You can get paid up to $4,095.50 per month in residual income just in the matrix alone. Also, you filled the top two positions in your matrix with your personal enrollments. Pay attention to this because this is how you can make that long-term residual income. So in this example on the left, let's say Bob enrolls two in his unit level. They also go into Bob's matrix as his level one first two people. So Bob filled his first two positions with his personals. Now you enroll two more people personally. They can't land underneath Bob because he already filled his top two positions. So they land under Sue. This is called spillover for Sue. Let's say one of those people is Tim. Tim's here in the green. Tim enrolls two people. They go into his unit level. They also start and take the top two positions of Tim's matrix. Let's say you enroll six more people and they land accordingly inside of the matrix. They just fill up the open positions. So you're going to get a 50% check match on everyone that you personally enrolled, no matter where they landed in the matrix. As you see here, these people are on your third level of your matrix, but they're on your first level of your unit level. So you earn a 50% match on anyone you personally enroll, no matter where they land in your matrix. A couple things I want to point out here. Bob enrolled his first two in his matrix. So Bob is going to make a 50% match on each of his personals. And the same thing with Tim, he makes 50% on his personals. Sue hasn't enrolled anyone personally, so she doesn't make any check match because she didn't personally enroll anyone. However, Sue has spillover. Tim, this person, everything that spills underneath Sue, Sue will make a commission on. Sue will make matrix pay. So the fact that you enrolled Sue and Sue makes matrix pay, Sue is making money and you're getting a 50% match and Sue has never enrolled anyone. We know that Sue is going to be happy. As a matter of fact, everyone's happy. Let's continue. As you rank advance, like we said, you can make up to 73% on your personals. And as you rank advance, you start to make check match on everyone in your organization. Now Bob starts building a team and you're building a team with Bob and Bob's people are bringing in people as well. The same thing happens with Tim. And as you keep building, maybe even Sue starts building as well. You could see here, it becomes a team build because people are piling on top of each other 
that don't know each other. People are getting paid without ever recruiting. And there's something called dynamic compression. If a membership does leave, everything moves up to fill in the empty spaces. Again, when you look at match pay and generational match pay with LiveGood, it's unlike anything you've ever seen before in network marketing. If you look at traditional network marketing, if you sponsor these 20 people and they don't build a business, you make $0 on check match because they did not receive a check. They don't have a residual income because they have to build their inside legs. They only get paid when they have their products auto shipped to them. Now, this isn't just with a binary. This could be with three legs or a unilevel or a breakaway, a five by seven matrix. It doesn't matter. Network marketing still has the principles of you getting paid when people buy a product, you getting recurring income when there's auto ship. Everything we just illustrated earlier in this training applies to every business model inside of traditional network marketing. As a matter of fact, in this example of network marketing, you have everyone paying $150 a month on auto ship, creating 100 points in business volume. When you have 10 people on each leg, if you have 100 points in business volume times 10 people equals 1,000 points in business volume times 10% of the lesser volume leg, in this example, you're only making $100 anyway. You're not even breaking even. So unless these people go out and recruit and start making some more money, you are in the red. You did all this work. And in reality, everyone ends up leaving anyway, as we illustrated earlier. Again, this isn't a knock on network marketing. This is just data. This has happened to me. Has this ever happened to you before? Have you ever built an organization and little by little by little it diminished? We can come up with every reason why. I mean, there are network marketing gurus and leaders that will have a super Saturday or whatever else and say, the reason people quit is because they give up too early. They quit on themselves. They don't plug in. And all of those are valid reasons. They don't set goals. They don't commit to goals. They don't have a reason why. Again, not consistent. They don't do the things. They're not coachable. All of these different things are very important, and those also apply to live good as well. But the reality is people leave businesses when they're spending more money than they're making. <laughs> that, that's it. And this live good business model is just a completely different model, and this is why it's standing out among all these other businesses that are moving backwards. That's why when you look at this list, the only similarity to network marketing that live good has is leverage. That's it. Everything else they removed. They simply removed every other obstacle in network marketing and added only what works. And that's the leverage. Again, this is why so many people are confused in network marketing and wondering why it's not working, not picking on any network marketing companies, but we see what's happening. And we see that this live good program is completely different, a complete anomaly. And this is why it will continue to grow. When it comes to match pay, there's no limit to how many people you can bring in. You're making 50% check match on everyone you personally enroll. As you enroll people and they enroll people, they all fill into the matrix. There's no placing people. There's no deals. There's no fly-ins. It's straight up acquiring customers, acquiring members. Everyone earns income. There are no sales requirements, no recruitment requirements. In this scenario, you'll make 50% check match on everyone you personally enroll. And I want to give you an example of what this looks like in terms of how the match pay is leveraged with the matrix. These top six positions are prime real estate in your matrix. There have been people that enroll their spouse, their mom, their kids, all right away when they get started, before they even speak to anyone else, they enroll their family. They want extra income coming into their family and coming into their household. And in this example, when you see how when people at the and in this example, when you see how on level four, when people only earn fifty dollars and make and you see in this example is level one, two, three, four. In this example on level four, when people earn just fifty dollars in matrix income, how that can have a profound effect on your entire organization. That means level three is, is earning one hundred dollars in matrix income which means level two, the kids in this case, are all earning $200 a month in residual income. And the spouse and mom are both earning $400 a month in passive residual matrix income. So your position is earning $800 a month in residual income from the matrix is actually $2,400 coming into the household in matrix pay. When you do the math with the, now when you do the math with the 50% match pay, that's $1,600 that's $1, in match pay. Again, that's coming just from $50 being made on level four. What happens when this increase 
What happens when this increases to just $100 in residual income in the matrix? All the, in the matrix pay doubles and the match pay doubles. In this example, that's $8,000 per month in very sticky, very passive income, which is $100,000 a year income. And that's without diamond pay, revenue share, or any other portions of the compensation plan. Here are just two examples of how the match pay dwarfs the completely dwarfs the matrix pay. In these two examples, you see the matrix pay is $391 and the match pay monthly is $1,500. Here you see the matrix pay is $1,300, but the matching pay is $53,000 for the month in residual income. You see, as it grows, the diamond pool here is revenue share is $5,900 and the revenue share and the revenue share here is $21,000. That's a monthly income of $7,800 and another residual income of $76,000 per month. So again, <laughs> so again, LiveGood is under two years old. I like the company. Obviously, I did this whole video, this whole training. If you want more information about this, there's a link you can click below. If you like trainings like this, I do trainings like this with my team. I'm a, currently a platinum affiliate. I'm going towards the rank of diamond. I'm doing private Zooms with my team as well as freeway calls if, if needed. I have a very good crew of people that I work with. The up team and cross team collaboration has been excellent. It's very upbeat. We're focused on personal development, lead generation, automation, how to grow your business, how to grow yourself personally, and most importantly, how to protect your family, how to build a proverbial financial fortress around your family with real long-term, long-term sticky, sticky, high retention, passive residual income. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you at the top. Let's go do it.